like, hey guys, now we're going to go over the Amish way of life. I'm going to read you the passage. We're just going to go in order of the slides and then we'll answer the questions once we get done. The Amish are a group of people living in America. They live very simply. The Amish speak their own language. Over 165,000 Amish live in the United States. 1,500 Amish live in Canada. The Amish population is growing. 80% of Amish people live in Pennsylvania. The Amish have strict rules. The church makes the rules. Electricity, phones, and cars are not allowed. People use horses and buggies. Women wear long dresses with aprons, and men wear pants, shirts, and suspenders. They wear plain colors. People do not follow rules are shunned. Being shunned means they are rejected by their community. They need to make up for their wrongdoings. Amish who do not make up for their wrongdoings are excommunicated. Excommunicated members are thrown out of their community. The Amish community has their own schools, and many of these schools are one-room schoolhouses. A teacher teaches all ages in one classroom. Unmarried Amish women teach Amish schools. There are about 30 children in a class. Children learn English, reading, writing, math, and history. Children go to school until eighth grade. Next slide. Amish women take care of their family. They also take care of the church and the community. Amish women cook. They make and wash clothes. They help neighbors. Amish women follow their husbands. Amish men are often farmers. They grow crops and raise livestock. Amish use horses on their farms. The Amish way of life is different from modern Americans. Despite this, the Amish thrive. They have a strong community to take care of each other. And there's a picture of an Amish family on a buggy and then a picture of the Amish woman. So then we're going to go to our next slide and it's going to ask us, what is the topic of the text? Now remember, we are talking about either one word or a few words, a short phrase when we're talking about the main topic, okay? We're not talking about the main idea. We're talking about the topic. So the topic, we can go back up and look in all of this topic from the passage is about Amish people. So when you look here, what is the topic of the text? You have Amish people, where Amish live, Amish schools, and Amish rules. Well, we're talking about the entire text, okay? So it's not just about where they live. They talked about where their schools were and their rules, okay? So the big, broad topic, what it's um, mostly about, the answer is A, Amish people, okay? So then you move on to the next question. Which sentence best tells the main idea of the text? So remember, when we're talking about the main idea, we're going to talk about what the entire passage is about, but we're going to tell it in a sentence. We're not going to tell it like the main topic that you guys learned in second grade. We're learning this year in third grade. We're going to write a sentence, what it's all about. There's a difference between the main topic and the main idea. So, the first one is A, the Amish have very strict rules. B, Amish have very simple lives. C, the Amish focus their lives around their family and community. Or D, the Amish people have a different way of life from modern Americans. Now remember, think about what the entire passage was about, okay? Did it talk about strict rules? Yes. Did it also talk about how they live simple lives? Yes. Did it talk about how their lives were focused around their family and their community? Yes. But still, that's just one topic. We're looking for a broader topic that the entire passage about. 
So the entire passage was about the Amish people have a different way of life from modern Americans. Now those, so the answer is D. Now the other ones are key details that supports that answer. How are they different? Because they have strict rules. They live simple lives with no TV, no phone, no electricity. And their focus is keyed around their family and community. Those are details, guys, not the main topic. So the next one. What details would help you determine the main idea? Well, guess what? It was right up there in um, question two. So we know that what the Amish have very strict rules, okay? Oops, it's a little bitty, sorry. Strict rules. All right, what else? They, remember, so they live very simple lives. They do not have electricity. Oops. Do not. All right. So they do not have electricity or phones. All right. And the Amish. Focus their lives around their community and family, okay? So those are some details that support your main idea, which is that they live a different way than modern Americans. So then number four, it tells you the main idea of, par what is the main idea of paragraph two? So now it's just strictly asking you to go back and find paragraph two, all right? So we know this is paragraph one. So this is paragraph two. So now it's asking, what is this entire paragraph about? So the Amish has strict rules. The church makes the rules. Electricity, phones, and cars are not allowed. People use horses and buggies. Women wear long dresses with aprons. Men wear pants and shirts and suspenders. They wear plain clothes. People who do not follow the rules are shunned. Being shunned means that they are rejected by their community. They need to make up for their wrongdoings. Amish who do not make up for their wrongdoings are excommunicated. Excommunicated members are thrown out of their community. So what is this entire paragraph talking about? All right, it's talking about a lot of rules and a lot of things that they have to do. So the main idea is that Amish have strict rules. And it said that we needed to color that green. All right, so you'll highlight this. They have very strict rules. You'll go up and you'll fill the color with green. Oh, not the entire thing. Oops, sorry. You're going to highlight, there we go, highlight text with green, okay? So then you go down, you fill in the main idea of the paragraph. The main, because remember we use complete sentences, the main idea of paragraph two is the Amish have very strict rules. All right, so number five, which detail could the author add to paragraph four to support the main idea? Now here it says, check all that apply. So what does that tell you? There might be more than one answer because it's asking you which detail could the author add to paragraph four to support the main idea? Now we're going back to the main idea is that they have different ways 
from um, a different way of life from modern Americans. So let's go find passage uh, paragraph four. So we got one, two, three, go to my next page, four. All right, so it says, Amish women take care of their family. They also take care of the church and community. Amish women cook. They make and wash clothes. They help neighbors. Amish women follow their husbands. Amish men are often farmers, and they grow crops and raise livestock. Amish uses horses on their farm. So, which detail could the author add to paragraph four to support the main idea? All right, so A, Amish men are carpenters. B, Amish children often walk to school. C, Amish women are responsible for caring for children. Or D, Amish people could gather in their homes to practice their religion. Well, we know that they had very strict rules, so we know that D is not the answer because they're not going to allow them to gather in their homes to practice their religion. Um, and remember, paragraph four was about how women take care of their family. They, um, they take care of the church, the community. They cook. They wash clothes. They help neighbors. Um, they follow their husband. They're, the men are often farmers. They grow crops and, live, and raise livestock. Um, Amish use horses on their farms. So for me, I believe that a supporting detail is going to be that some Amish men are carpenters. What are carpenters, guys? Carpenters are people who work on things, okay? They work on the farm. Carpent people make, carpenters make things, fix things. They build things. Um, and that's what the Amish men are doing. So a would be a very good detail that would support the main idea. Um, the Amish children often walk to school. No, I don't think that that's going to be a detail that's going to support us because, um, you know, uh, Americans sometimes walk to school. So I don't think that's really going to make a big difference. It's not in that paragraph. They're talking about how they're farmers, what the women do at church. Um, how they take care of their family. So I don't believe that that's going to be a really big detail that can support that. Amish women are responsible for caring for children. Yes. In the passage, it tells us that the women take care of the children. They take care of their home. They take care of school. They teach school. All right. Remember the single women teach the school. And then Amish people gather in their homes to practice their religion. No, that's not going to be a um, that's not going to be a detail that would really support the main idea. So our answers here are A and C. So moving on to number six, what is the main idea of paragraph four? Well, paragraph four we just read was about um, Amish men and women. And what they do, and their um, and how they are, what their roles are on the in their community. Okay, so the women take care of their family, they take care of the church, the community, they cook, they make and wash clothes, they help neighbors, um, they follow their husbands. Men are farmers, so this is telling us all about men and women and what they're doing in their community. So let's go back and see if what our answers are. So our answer choices are A, Amish men and women have different roles. B, the Amish community has their own schools. C, Amish women are responsible for their family. And D, the Amish way of life is different than people who live in modern America. Well, that's the main idea of the entire text. D is the main idea of the entire text. So not just paragraph four. So, um, what really paragraph four talked about was their men and women's role, okay? And what do they have? Amish men and women have very different roles. So the main idea of paragraph four would be A, okay? Because that's what the entire graph, paragraph is talking about, all right? So that is the Amish way of life, Um Remember, when you guys are reading passages, 
It's not wanting to know a key detail. It's wanting to know the entire paragraph.